Hi everyone, Mike Terry here, out on the Energy Assembly floor, and I'm taking a few minutes with Hamid Sharistani, Energy General Manager, to talk about the certification process and the certification uh, that's going on right now with the Energy uh, EcoVert 75 turbine. So, um, if you would, Hamid, can you just talk a little bit about you know that process and, and what is to be certified and, and what you know everyone should sort of what's going on with that process, if you will? Sure. Um, well, international communities have uh, developed um, harmonized standards for uh, equipment uh, like the EcoVert uh, to ensure that the uh, certain criteria have been met uh, in terms of performance and the safety of the equipment so the consumers can uh, have confidence that this device is going to be performing as advertised. Um, this standards sort of fall into ma four major categories. Um, the first category is the amount of power that gets generated by the uh, machine, and that needs to comply with what we advertise as part of the, um, uh, the specifications of the machine in different wind environments. So we need to demonstrate that the system will generate the powers that we say at the, within the uh, specification that we have uh, provided. Uh, second, the, we'll verify that the equipment is not going to adversely affect the uh, other equipment that's around the machine and it doesn't get adversely affected by their operation as it's operating. Um, the third is amount of acoustic noise that the machine get generates while it's uh, operations and that amount of noise has to be below a certain level in order for it to be in an environment that this machine is going to be used for. And then the, um, the obviously the, the, the fourth one is to ensure safety of the equipment, to make sure that the machine is going to operate safely within the environment that it's going to be operating. Those are the four areas that the certification will be focusing. Nice. So basically, I mean, what you're trying to determine is that it safely produces the power that uh, ultimately the organization is putting forward that it does. That's correct. But, uh, you know, what does that process look like? Well, the process is actually starts from the design phase. When uh, we actually start designing this equipment, we need to have in-depth familiarity with all these requirements are and ensure that we are, the design process are going to result in a product that's going to meet or exceed those standards. So for that reason, we, we have utilized our internal expertise as well as we brought in external expertise to help us to ensure that the design process that we're going through is going to result in equipment that is going to meet or exceed those requirements. Mm -hmm. Once we have gone through the design phase, then we will go through what we call the prototyping, prototype testing or bench testing to ensure that each subassembly is compliant also to those uh, performance standards. Once that has been completed, then we will go to the next phase, which is actually a field testing of the device, completed device to ensure that um, the completed device also performs uh, within uh, specifications. We have completed all of those steps for the EcoVert 75 and the results have been extremely successful. So the fourth step of that, which is the final stage, is to have a, a third party, uh, independent third party, to uh, test this machine and the, in the different environment outside of our facility, outside of our uh, control, and make sure that the machine demonstrates that it will meet all the standards that I mentioned earlier. Sure. Well, I mean, that's quite an involved uh, process uh, that's going through. Um, I mean, what ultimately, you know, there must be a reason that you go through all that. What's the benefit of that entire process? Absolutely. The, the benefit of that process is mainly for the consumers. The consumers are going to be the beneficiary of this uh, piece of equipment and um, they want to have confidence that not only we have internally make sure that this machine is going to operate safe, safely and effectively, but also an independent body has uh, verified it so they could have an additional layer of confidence that this equipment has provided, will provide the uh, performance that they expect. And uh, so far, we have been uh, very encouraged with the results. Uh, everything that we had uh, designed in and, and uh, gone through the process demonstrates that our process was effective of producing a product that was going to be, that's going to be successful. 
and uh, we're now going to the phase of having the independent testing done and that's going to happen uh, later this time. Perfect. Well, thanks for adding that clarity on that process. Um, you know, as everybody can understand, uh, it's an uh, uh, endeavor to go through certifying and commercializing a turbine of this size and magnitude. And, you know, Hamid is a, is a major team member leading the operations effort of the, of the organization here, contributing towards its success. So uh, thank you for spending a little time here talking with us. Um, and I uh, also want to thank those of you out there who are viewing and are watching and especially those of you who email you know nice messages of, nice messages of encouragement and notes of thank you or phone calls I mean it's really been incredible to get that support from the community about the the effort that we're going through so thank you everyone and uh, one last thing get out there and protect the earth she needs our help thank you